In this short video tutorial, we'll learn how to convert a string value into date time uh, using C sharp. So if you have a date time represented as a string and you want to convert it into a date time uh, variable, then how can you do that using C sharp? So that is what we'll understand in this video. So let's say we have a string, uh, let's say we have the date time as a string inside double quotes. So this is the date time value which we have uh, which we have written as a string. So you might ask the user to enter some date time value from the keyboard which C sharp will receive as a string and then you might want to convert that string into a date time variable. So how can you do that using C sharp? So let's say we create a date time variable by the name dt and you want to convert this string into a valid date time uh, value. So you can use the convert class we also use the convert class for converting string to integers, string to doubles. So the convert class actually has you know a lot of uh, very useful functions. One of them is the to date time function, which we get from the convert class. So if we pass the string value to the to date time function in the convert class, it will convert it into the date time um, uh, value and it will store it in our variable dt. One thing you need to understand is that I have written this string in the format in which uh, the time runs on my uh, laptop. So in, on my laptop, I have a setting which says that the first will be the month, the second will be the date and the third will be the year. So on your laptop or on your uh, uh, machine, this format might be different. So you need to keep that in mind. So let's run this. Let's run this code and see if we can get a valid date time value converted by this function. So as of now, the string has uh, the date time value, the, the date value actually in double quotes, which means it's a string. And the value of the DT variable right now is one slash one slash zero one, which is the default date time value. Now, when we run this line of code, notice that the date time, uh, the, the string has been converted into a valid date time value by the convert dot two date time function and it has been that value has been stored in the dt variable. So the string variable still has the value in double quotes, which means it's a string and the dt variable has the value as a valid date time value, which you can use in your code uh, by you know accessing the month, the date, the year and all other components, which you can get from the date time value. Uh, in the end, I would like to mention that when you are trying to convert a string to a date time value using the to date time function, Make sure that the string is a valid date time value. Otherwise, this function will give you an exception. So with this, we'll end this short tutorial here. For more free C -sharp learning content, please visit openeschool.com slash learn C -sharp. Also, please subscribe to our channel to get regular updates on the new videos that we add. Thank you.